Hello folks. Hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Um, yeah, what I'm actually doing right now is I'm just uh, those those little cream pictures that you saw me making. I am now just dealing with them. I'm putting on some handles. So let's just join me for that and we'll talk about it. Yeah, on under wraps there on the table I'm keeping some a little back so you don't want them all to get dry all at the same time do you? No siree we don't so you have to sort of do things a little bit in stages if you know what I mean um, always working off a banding wheel of course I've got one more of this little batch here to do so what I do is just thumb him off, okay, my handles are here, pick a handle, actually first of all just dip my finger and scratch, scratch the point of attachment right there with your fingernail, dip it in water, okay, don't, don't take extra slip from somewhere else and a scratcher tool, don't do that. Just use your finger, that's your scratcher tool, that guy. He's the best tool for doing that, okay? And you just give it a little scratch with the water and it creates the, the slip, you see, right there. Back on the banding wheel. Are we in a picture? Let's bring it a touch closer. All right, yeah. So, my handles, you see, I've, I've pulled them, they're already here. I've got a little bit of plastic over them, so I'm sort of keeping some of them a little bit back as well. So I'm pulling my handle. Now you've always got to prepare the end of the handle, so just blunt the end or stub the end with the knuckle of my, of, of my thumb, like that. And that just creates a bit more, if you can see that, just creates a little bit more contact area for the handle where it's going to join. And you see how it's got a little bit of extra clay there now because I've I've hit it with my knuckle well it's that little bit of extra clay that I'm going to use to smooth into the to smooth into the into the into the body of the picture you see okay so holding him there like that initially just to get that handle um, attached. That's the most important thing, isn't it? Is get the handle actually onto the uh, onto the onto the pot that you're going to try to put it on, so that it doesn't fall off. So I can pick it up now. You see, dip it in the water pot, and now I can start to just pull it pull it again. Always respect the the handle. Never let it droop. Never let it go down like that. Always. You see how I, I'm supporting it and holding it like that? Always sort of hold it like that. So now the, the handle, I'm just pulling it again a few times off the side of the pot. Freshen it up, make it a little bit more nice and bendy because I want to make it bend now, you see. So holding it by the end and just let the handle drop around like that, you see. Turn it like that. Have a look at it, make sure that it's straight. Okay, having done that, back up to the top with my finger. See that rolling action like that underneath there? That's taking the clay, the soft clay of the handle and smoothing it into the body of the pot. Okay, it's important to do that. And a little bit of just across the top there like that. Ba-boom, ba-boom. Voila. Okay, now the the finish here, what you want to do is, depending on how wet it is, but I always will pull my finger over it like that to remove any wetness, okay? And you need to make sure that your thumb is not dry, neither do you want it shiny wet, you want it somewhere in between, okay? So you take that clay there now, okay? and push it across like that. Now if your thumb is a little bit too wet, the, the, 
as you push, your thumb won't be able to grab the clay and smooth it, you see, it'll just slip over the top of it. And again, going the other way, like that. Okay, the little tail here, what you're going to do is lift him up like that, and then flick him off like that. So, and that's it. Put him on the board. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Let's just go and have a look here at these. I've got these under wraps. Actually, some of those are a little bit on the soft side, perhaps. I've got some more here. Yeah, I've got a few on that board here, I think, that are going to be... Yeah, they're going to be okay. And some of these are going to be okay. We'll do another one. Bring the camera. Now, I know you've... You've seen me do this lots of times. Oh, Simon, can't we have something new? You've done that already once, or twice, or ten times. Well, yeah, I probably have, but don't worry about it. If you've got it mastered, all well and good. But maybe you haven't. All right. So, on, on the banding wheel, point of attachment, a little bit of wet there on your fingernail, scratch it, okay? Pick up a handle off the, off the board. Okay, there's, there's the handle. So you want to use your knuckle, you see? So you really want to hold it properly, but then use your, your knuckle like I'm doing to make it go like that. It's actually, it's very, it's very important this. And I struggled with handles until I, did, until I learned to do the knuckle trick on the end there and make it wider. You see, if you pick a handle straight off the board, I want you to see the difference. Are we in a picture? Hang on. Uh, you see the, this handle on the left is as I pulled it and as I cut it off. Okay, you see that? The one on the right is after I have knuckled it. <laughs> Knucklehead. So um, you can see it's a bigger contact area plus it has this little bit of an extra surplus clay here where I'm touching it with my finger. And that's the clay that you knit that's going to help you to join the handle onto the pot. Okay? So, uh, offer the handle up, push the handle in a little bit, but keep your finger here, okay, behind the point of attachment because if you push and the pot is a little soft, you'll push it out of shape, you see. While it's, while it's still... Okay, so I've pushed it on, I've attached it, it'll hold now, like that. But I want to actually... So using my... You see how my index finger underneath is feeding that clay into the body of the, of the pitcher. Now my thumb on the top is coming across here and also just... You see? Pushing the clay, push, push, push the soft clay here, that way, into the, into the body of the, the pitcher. Dip it in the water, okay? And now we can confidently pull it off. Sorry, not pull it off. <laughs> pull the handle away like I'm doing without pulling it off. <laughs> Simon, that was not the right thing to say. <laughs> yeah, I know, it wasn't, was it? Okay. So now, 
taking it by the end, all right? Just let the handle, let it, let it fall, but I'm sort of, you see how I'm supporting it? Now, choose your point of attachment. You, you don't want to attach it too low down, or you have a handle, look, look like that handle, see? Not much room here to get your fingers through. That's not good. Okay? What about... What about that? That looks a bit a bit ugly, doesn't it? Looks like it's looks like it's sort of sticking out too far, doesn't it? Okay. So hang on, I'll just get it. So what you need to know, it have in your mind is to know where to attach the handle. You need to be able to get a finger in there, like that. Kind of finger across the top like that, you see? And again, just underneath, rolling the roll the clay, roll the soft clay. You see that action? Like that. Like that. Like that. You see? Okay, here again, the looking at my thumb, feeling my thumb for moisture. Hmm, yeah, okay. If it's too wet, you see, a few dabs on your apron like that. Now, fingers on the inside, you see, my fingers are down on the inside, opposite here. So what I'm going to do now is, is just push that clay away like that, one way. Then I turn it, hand finger out, and I just simply do the other side like that. All right. Now, this little tail, lift him up like that. You'll find if, if you leave him down there like that, you want to flick him off, he's not so easy to flick off. So lift him up. Hold him like that, and then with my thumb, away. God, we're, we're having a good class today, aren't we? These are little details I'm giving you now. <laughs> okay, I'm looking, I'm looking at my, 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 my pot, and I'm thinking I didn't do a very good job there, partly because this is... Uh, it's dis I distorted the top of the pot a little bit. It's this one is actually a little bit soft. So you want to get that handle opposite the pouring lip. So I'm looking at him that way. I'm looking at him that way. I'm turning him and I'm looking at him that way. All right, I'm looking at him three ways checking in three ways after I've done it. At this point, just cast your eye over the pot for any little fingernail nicks, any little rather maybe aggress aggressive marks on the pot from a sponge or your hand when you lifted it and just, just smooth them away, all right, and they'll be fine. Okay. Back down on the board. So, <laughs> so, um, so there we are, folks. I, I hope that 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 that's been of some help. Um, yeah, I know. I know we've. I know we. Well, I know we've done handles probably a dozen times or more over the years, at least. But uh, it's a repeat. This is repeat where we're doing. So I'm going to keep keep teaching and hammering home this theme, okay? And for some of you, it might be you know you've seen it a lot of times. For other people, and maybe they haven't. So anyway, anyway, I hope it's of some help. We've got uh, a couple of workshops. In fact, I've got two workshops to do. One in um, Central Pennsylvania, a place called Montoursville, 
which is near to Williamsport. And um, I'm going to be doing a workshop there. Um, I'm just trying to think how I can give you details of it. Uh, yeah, if you're interested in that one, write to me and I'll, and I'll send you, there's a little flyer that I've got uh, that I can email to you that gives you the details and the contact person to contact. I I'm going there to give the workshop. It's two days, Saturday and Sunday, November 8th and 9th. And then November 22nd and 23rd, I'm running a workshop here. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be the last workshop this year. It may be. Uh, who knows? I might do another one in early December, if there's interest. Maybe you're somebody who might be interested. If you are, let me know, and that'll just help me formulate my plans. Otherwise, I'm just going to be going back to production, making making boards of the these, you know. Lots of repeat wear because repeat wear, repeat wear, you know, if you're a production potter, if you're a potter, you see, you, making pots like this can be your bread and butter, can help you survive, live, you know. So uh, I like to think of myself as sort of an artist potter, but I'm, I'm also a production potter really um, but you know where, where you draw the line between what is like repeat wear and what is artistic wear I think it's all a load of baloney quite frankly <laughs> um, yeah okay I'm not going to get into that now but anyway um, so please go to my website simonleachpottery.com and I will see you in the next clip in fact let me just bring the camera just down here very quickly. Ooh. In the next clip, this is to whet your appetite, you see. So, <laughs> so you'll keep coming back. So what I'm going to do is I've spoken to you before about the, um, the cut-off wires. And I'm going to be showing you how to make a decent cut-off wire. So you can cut your pots off the wheel properly. And... Um, these are, these are sort of special cut-off wires because it's a, it's a twisted cut-off wire. It's a twisted nylon cut-off wire with a ceramic end on one end and a, uh, a cane end on the other. And it's the right length. And I really feel that everybody ought to have a decent cut-off wire to use on the wheel. Um, because the other, wheels, the other wires that most people have are far too long and they're useless quite frankly so anyway I'm going to be making some of these and I'm also going to be putting some of these on my website so they're going to be for sale but I'm also going to show you how to make them okay folks well that's it until next time keep practicing I'll see you soon bye bye